Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 2. If you remember last time I was wondering whether to do, uh, to take all the rewards from Marcus or uh, do everything for free because uh, then he joins you at the end. And I was wondering wh whether I should uh, swap him for Solik. And I've decided that yes I will because he's got much better stats. A little less health than Solik but much better stats overall. And he can carry more so we're gonna take Marcus. Um, even though he can't really wear armor, I believe, which is kind of a, kind of a shame. Now we need to find Chad. Where's Chad, though? Hi again, what do you know? Uh, da, 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 da. Who lives here? No, equal, thanks, bye. Damn, where is Chad? He's one of the caravan guys, that's, I know for sure. Oh, help you? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about Chad. You got questions? Maybe I got answers. What do you want to know? What's he like? What's he like? Well, he's friendly but abrasive. He's a good boss and usually fair to us. He doesn't treat us badly or anything, if that's what you mean. Any more questions? Yep. <clears throat> Can he be trusted? Well, he's a little shady, I guess, but then so are most people these days. Where does he get his money? I always kind of assume he'd brought it with him, and plenty of it at that. It's not the sort of thing you ask a guy, you know? Any more questions? What's his history? I have no idea about his history, yes. I mean, just about all of us caravan guards or drifters who came here for the job. Figure he's another one of who had to vacate someplace else in a hurry. Hmm. Okay. Anyone else? Help you? Who are you? Me? I'm Urs. I'm a guard for Bill's caravans. Anything else? Uh, okay, the same the same answers here. Hmm. Does anyone else have anything more about that? Apparently not. No. I guess this is Chad because he's the only one in a different armor. In that case, you want to talk to Bill. Okay. Let's see. Can I help you with something? Who are you? I'm Max. I'm one of the caravan guards. Oh. What can you tell me about Chad? Honestly? I don't care for the guy. Lately, he's been tossing around a lot of coin. I mean, sure, he's the caravan master, so it makes sense for him to take a larger cut. I understand that. But there's no way he should be that loaded. I think he'd be real interested to take a peek at his records. Marcus told me he suspects Chad of skimming some of the caravan money that's supposed to be going to Broken Hills. I told him I'd look into it. Lowers his voice and looks around. That's gotta be it. In fact, I was guard. I was a guard on the latest uranium run to Gecko, and I overheard Chad arguing with their ghoul rep. Apparently, Broken Hills had recently been jacking up the price of uranium, and the ghoul wasn't too happy about it. Then I heard Chad explain to him how our uranium supply was running low due to a recent miners' strike. But the thing is, there never was a strike. Really? Then why didn't you report that to Marcus? Are you insane? Chad's a powerful guy in this town and he's got plenty of friends. If I try to rat him out, there's a lot of people that hate me. Hell, I might even get killed. Hmm. Then perhaps I could say something to Marcus. I don't plan to stay around here too much longer anyway. Hey. You do what you need to do, just don't drag me into it. In fact, we never had this conversation, okay? No problem. Alright. Actually, one more thing. I know Chad keeps records of all the transactions he makes. He's kind of a record freak. In fact, that guy, the guy is such a nut about it, I bet he even has the records of all the money he's been skimming. The problem is, he keeps all this stuff locked up in his house on the other side of the town. And there's no way you're getting in there. He's locks, uh, his locking system's too complex. Again, we never had this conversation. Complex system. How am I supposed to get in, then? Alright, listen. You look like someone I can trust. The door to Chad's house is locked using the most advanced non-electronic locking system there is. This one's a real beauty. I should know, since I designed it. You see, before I was a caravan guard, I used to be a locksmith. Now, since I assume you'll be needing to get into the house, let me explain how to pick these types of locks. Oh, nice! You gained 350 experience. About five minutes later, Max is done explaining the markings, uh, the workings of his locks. There you go. 
It should be enough to get in there. With this information, even a novice can pick one of these locks. You be careful now. Oh, and we never had this conversation. <laughs> Don't worry, thanks for the extra info. Okay, that's pretty good. So we can go... You know what? I, it's weird. I never remember doing this uh, quest before. Is this one of the new quests or something? Because I definitely don't remember this. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, what's over here? I think this is another prison or something? Yeah. No! This is the... <coughs> the hospital. This is weird. This all looks... Kind of larger than usual, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, let's see what's over here. Nothing. Oh, this is the hospital. Uh, nothing here to loot. Oh, well. Nothing here. And nothing here. Damn it, I want loot. You see a wizened old man wearing a doctor's coat. Weez, hi there. I'm Doc Holiday. How can I help you? What do you do here? What do I do here? You're in a hospital. I'm wearing a doctor's coat. Them covered with blood. There are sharp, pointy things lying all around. Either I'm a successful killer or a fair doctor. I take your pick. <laughs> Don't get smart with me, old man. A really good doctor wouldn't be getting blood all over himself. Stripling, you have a lot to learn about respect. <clears throat> Okay, you've pissed me off. Now you're going to need to heal yourself. <laughs> yeah, all right. Just sell me some stim packs. Yeah, maybe I've uh, lowered my respect here <laughs> even more. Ooh, that's really inexpensive. That is nice. And he's got a lot of money as well. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Let's see, where where's that? Oh. Wait, I need some more pistols from uh, Solik. Because <clears throat> this is excellent. Very cheap stem packs. Uh, where's... There he is. Come here. What, Jimmy? Very cheap stem packs. And uh, he's got quite a bit of money. That is, no. This is excellent. Assault rifle. Expanded magazine. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep hold, holding on to that. I can sell that. Uh, 762. I don't know if I really need that. I can definitely sell these. This is already going to be enough, of course. Ah, damn it. I can't carry all that. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, we can do it in increments because uh, he's got stim packs, so... <clears throat> Barter. This is beautiful. Wait, he's only got nine? No, oh, okay. That's not a problem. Four thousand? Wait. The hell? The, they were 200 before. What the hell is going on? Oh, come on. Really? Wait. If I do barter or if I just sell me some stim packs? Huh. Okay. So if I do it through conversation, that's, uh, that's mighty interesting. <clears throat> I don't get it, but all right. That's fine. Yeah, I'm getting rid of stuff. Look at that. That is brilliant. Uh, there we go. Oops, five more. That is brilliant. Okay, give me some more stuff. How much do you have? <clears throat> I don't really need this, do I? But uh, there we go. Four, two, five. Huh, that was actually quite interesting. If I do barter, though, it seems he has diff a different inventory. No, not really, but the prices are completely different. I have to remember that one. That was quite strange. But we can breathe once again. Breathe a little bit. There's uh, still lots of stuff I have. <clears throat> but anyway. Any gossip? You'd be surprised that people say when they're in pain. <laughs> oh yeah? Like what? Surprisingly little. Sorry, but when I'm concentrating on healing someone, I don't usually pay attention to their innermost secrets. Oh. Tell me about the town. Let's see, I was born here years ago. Place was just getting started. I picked up when I was 17 and tooled around the place for a while. Met a woman, fell in love. She died with sickness. I decided then that I was going to become a doctor. Yeah? Go on. 
So then I traveled to San Francisco and studied under the Chinese there. An old gentleman by the name of Mr. Fung taught me everything I know about medicine. He also taught me some wisdom. So then what happened? Then I came back here and I watched uh, Marcus build the town from the shanties I remember from my youth into the sprawling metropolis you see before you. I saw people attracted by promises of wealth. I saw people grow up and die. I saw the currents of history. So that means, that means that I don't know most of the new people these days. Most of my memories are just that. Memories. You jerk! <laughs> oh well, thanks for the story. No, thank you for listening to me ramble. Next time you're here and need healing, it's on the house. Thanks! Um... Okay. That's alright. Oh, that was brilliant. I'm sorry I, uh, I angered him in the beginning then. What was this? And how do I get here? Ooh! Uh... I don't... I don't remember this place. I remember this map ending here. Or maybe I just never was here. This... I, I don't know. This is so awesome. You're not supposed to be here. What do you want? What is this place? This is the refinery of Broken Hills. This is where we purify the ore dug from the mine. What do you want? I want some uranium. That's ridiculous. We're not giving you any. Then die. <laughs> Fine. Bye. I have a feeling they'll attack me if I'm uh, here too long. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. Jeez. Equipment access. That's awesome. What do you want? I'm the supervisor of this refinery. Nothing. I wonder if he'll attack me if I go in. Let me just save that first. Because that would be bad if he did. But this is really weird. Either I really forgot about this. Or this was added in the restoration patch. Welcome to Broken Hills. When's the next meal anyway? Am I gonna get radiated here? Can I use these computers? Oh, I can use this one. I doubt we can do something good, though. No, not really. What if I use science on it? 50% science already. Wow. That's not too bad. You failed to learn anything. Let's try again. Probably nothing, but... <clears throat> no. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. This large metal roll door has been jammed shut from the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. What about this guy? Weird mutant thing with splotchy skin and a ghastly smile. <laughs> okay. Da -dum. I definitely don't remember this place. Hi there, I'm Jacob, the chemist of the chemist's drugstore. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy some uh, medicine. <laughs> wow, more Stimpax? How much? Oof, quite expensive. He's got lots of money though. That is pretty nice. Let's see if we can... This is Stealth Boy, I'm not sure I really want it. Hmm. Very expensive. Probably not that... Uh, not that heavy. Don't really need this beer. And... Uh, oh well, I guess that's okay. Let me take some more stuff off Solik. And we'll sell some more stuff. Anything else? Yes. What can you tell me about Broken Hills? Why don't you tell me how you feel about mutants first? Ah. I think if you say, I hate them... They will let you in on the... Uh, hmm. I hate them! In that case, I'll give you the real history. A human named Jacob, I was named after him, founded this place. The mutant Marcus came along and forced everyone under his rule. Tell me more. He's been ruling here ever since the master was destroyed. He puts down anyone who disagrees with him, or they just disappear. This place looks civilized on the top of things, but the truth is that it's a killing ground for bloodthirsty mutants. There's a friend of mine who had friends who disappeared after speaking up. Go on. We all pretended that this is a civilized town, that we're all up on the up. But we all live in fear of the mutant rage. Each day there are fewer and fewer humans. All the mutants I've seen look old and decrepit. 
That's because they're trying to fool you, friend. They're trying to fool you. Why not fight back against them, then? Actually, we are. Some friends of mine and I are planning to strike a blow that will rid this town of mutants. But we need to get some friends out of jail. Are you with us? Sure. I have a little job for you. Our friends Mason and Frank are being held in jail. I want you to go get them out. Do it quietly, if possible. Don't want the whole town in your head. Got it. I have more questions. Nothing. Okay, so this is... Uh, let's hope that we can still tell Marcus about this. Of course, I'm not going to tell him just yet. I want to uh, trade with that guy first. But I think you can play a double agent here. And I do remember this before, so I don't know. Something else you wanted? Uh, I have something I wanted yeah. to tell you about what? Jacob and Aileen. Yeah. Jacob what? and Aileen asked me to break two people out of jail. I think they've got a plan how, you, how to do it. There we go. Now we can tell him. Right. Me and my deputies will take it from here. And thanks. I don't forget things like this. Oh, I got 2,500? Wow, that's not bad. No problem. Bye. But they're probably gone. I guess Francis was right about Jacob. That murderous bastard won't cause any more trouble in this town. Yeah, they're gone now, right? No, 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 no. I want to trade with them first. <laughs> and yes, they're gone. Okay, let's reload because I want to trade with them. There's nothing to do here, so we're just going out. Oh yeah, Solik, give me stuff. Heavy stuff, preferably. Uh, no, this is mine. Give me this. And what else? Well, not much. You've got loads of ammunition. Jeez. I guess I don't need this. Or this. I can just sell it some of it. I don't really need this. Oh, I can't even carry that much. Jeez. Okay. Let's go and buy all that stuff. Well, sell it. I've got lots of money. Alright. Let's go talk to the guy. I'd like to buy some medicine. Okay. Here you go. All this stuff. How much is this? Oh, expensive. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, he's got more, but I don't really want to uh, buy those expensive stim packs. That is way too expensive. Oops. Offer. Alright. <clears throat> Maybe we can steal some off him. Uh, no thanks. Buy him. First we're gonna talk to her as well. Uh, could you please stop pestering me? Jeez. You see a mildly attractive middle-aged woman. Okay, let's steal. Now, when I, uh, when I play this game myself, I used to do quite a lot of stealing from people. Yeah, this guy has quite a lot of stuff, but it's really risky because if they find you... Oh. Uh, now I have stolen, stolen this, and I will get some XP. But if I steal more in one go, I will get even more XP. And he will probably find me. Oh, he didn't. Okay, that's uh, enough. <laughs> 60 experience points. It's not much, but, you know, that's not bad. What's over here? Nothing. I love stealing stuff. <laughs> Even though we're playing a good guy, but still, you know. Still, it's stealing. It's pretty cool, especially because it, it rewards you with experience. You know, if there was stuff like this in today's games, I guess there is, I mean, the new fallouts, but I don't know. I just have a feeling that, like, if it was really prominent, that you would be uh, rewarded for stealing. Everyone would go, oh, this is bad for kids. They're telling them that stealing is good and blah, 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 blah. I don't really want that. Okay, there's not much here. Can we talk to this guy? Let's see. Lots of prisons in these uh, places, jeez. Okay, anyway. Now we can go to this guy and ask him about, you know, his mutant plan. And then go tell Marcus and we'll level up. Yay! I love leveling up. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.